Hi guys, this is Sauro. In this video, we will create one casino game in MIT App Inventor. So here we see the example first. So you can see that's the number here. So your number, we have to put some number here from 1 to 32. So I'm going to put here 7 and just click on the play button. Wait some second. You will see that random number is 22 and what we have put 7. It means we lost. Okay, now let's play again and if I just put something uh, 2, okay, and click on play button. Okay, the random number is 2 and the answer is win. Fine, so that's a very basic app we will create here. So here we go. So here we are using MIT App Inventor. So if you are new, so you have to log in into appinventor.mit.edu and then you need to click on start new project okay and that's my project name is number game okay and click on okay so let's create the design of this app okay so first we need to click on this screen and we need to change this background color so i'm going to make this background color is orange and drag and drop one label Okay, and make this label font size something 40 and change this text to 0. Okay, and make this one with this fill parent like this. And you will see text align make this one center. Okay, now we need to drag and drop one text box. So you will see text box here in the left side. Just drag and drop this text box and make this with this fill parent like this yeah now we need to drag and drop one button okay so that one is button just drag and drop this button and make this button is fill parent and change this button text box to play play and make this font size at least 24 and change this button background color <coughs> is pink yes now we need to drag and drop one layout here so you will see layout option and just drag and drop vertical arrangement and make this one fill parent and height should be fill parent now we need to drag and drop one more label here okay and make this one height is let it go uh, which should be fill parent and we need to change this font size at least 40 and, and uh, we need to change this text to result and make this result should be in our center so click on the vertical arrangement and make it in our center okay and uh, now this one should be center this one is also center why this one is not in center click on the label one and make this where this will parent and make this text align should be center and change this vertical arrangement background color to orange like this now we need to drag and drop two uh, timer here so you will see the center option just drag and drop one clock and then another clock click on clock one make this timer disable and make this 100 and click on clock two and make this 2000 and make this one is also unchecked fine that's the overall design let's go to the block section here whenever someone click on the button one it means play okay so just drag and drop this button one so whenever someone click on the button one so we have to display here some numbers okay so that numbers are random okay so that one is label one so we have to set click on the label one label one text set label one text should be random number okay click on the maths and you will find the random integer from 1 to 100 
so I'm going to make it 1 to 32 okay now we have to display this number multiple times so we will use here one clock system so you will see here clock 1 so when clock 1 dot timer enable so we have to display label 1 so I'm going to just drag and drop this one here because we have to change this number in every 10 times in one second okay and in the button 1 we have to enable this clock that one so click on the clock 1 and make this set clock 1 dot timer enabled and make this true just type here true like this and drag and drop here fine so what will happen whenever someone click on this play button their value will change automatically in every uh, 10 times in every seconds okay so now uh, level 1 fine now we have to stop this value okay randomly so what we will do we have to disable the timer okay so how we can stop the timer so there is one option click on the we have to start here another clock right now so what I am to do here set enable clock to timer just drag and drop here and make this one is also true like this and then we have to enable we have enabled this timer whenever we click so clock 1 clock 2 dot timer so set after 2 seconds we have to disable first timer so clock 1 and make this disable it means timer enabled should be false like this fine now we have to check condition if someone put here value we have to put here number if I just put uh, 7 number and this random value is 7 then that both value are match so we have to display here when result is when but the both values are uh, not matched then we have to display loss okay so for that go to the block section and we will use your condition so we will use your if else condition just drag and drop this now if it means in the math section you will find your equal just drag and drop this if text box 1 means click on label 1 dot text if label 1 dot text value is equal to text box 1 value so just find your text box 1 dot text okay if the both value are same then we have to display in the label third okay so uh, which one is label this one label is level 2 that one is level 2 okay so we have to display the result in level 2 so click on the level 2 and level 2 dot text should be when click on text math text here just type here and just type here when but if the condition is false it means else so we have to display plus in the label 2 okay like this let's run this app how it's work so you can see that's the number here so your number we have to put some number here from 1 to 32 so I'm going to put here 7 and just click on the play button wait some second you will see that random number is 22 and what we have put 7 it means we lost okay suppose if I just change the code and make this one uh, 5 or something 2 okay and then I just choose okay now let's play again and if I just put something uh, 2 okay and click on play button okay the random number is 2 and the answer is win fine so that's overall app fine
so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and if you have any doubt you can ask me on comment have a nice day be safe bye bye